gracious god through this prayer of thanks i praise your gracious and beautiful name for all the blessings you have given me and my loved ones life happiness success provision and many more the greatest gift of all is eternal life through jesus christ a gift that we honor with unquestioned faith in him as our savior please continue to protect and provide for our needs each day may we remain ever faithful to you our eternal king amen hello everyone welcome to our program thank you lord jesus episode 5 my friends through this series thank you lord jesus we want to emphasize on the power and importance of the gratitude we need to be thankful to the lord every single day every single moment that is very important for our sustenance holy bible contains several stories that teaches about the power of the gratitude here are a few examples prophet jonah gave thanks to the lord from the belly of the fish in chapter 2 we can find this he said this way In my distress I called to the Lord and he answered me From the depths of the grave I called for help and he listened to my cry What a beautiful prayer of thanksgiving to the Lord Jonah prayed to the Lord from the belly of the fish he thanked the Lord for hearing his cry Again King David is specially known for his thankful heart in his many psalms For example in Psalm 100 He he tells us this way Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise give thanks to the give thanks to him bless his name beautiful verse enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise give thanks to the lord bless his name all the time Daniel thanked the lord despite the great risk he faced Daniel was in deep trouble along with his three friends and all the wise men of Babylon. King Nebuchadnezzar had a dream that night and all the wise men failed to explain the dream of King Nebuchadnezzar. Now it was the turn of Daniel to explain the dream and now Daniel was afraid. He prayed to the Lord along with his three friends to reveal the dream that King Nebuchadnezzar had. Now the Lord has compa- the Lord had compassion and revealed the mystery of the dream to to Daniel. Then Daniel praised the Lord, thanked the Lord this way. Book of Daniel, second chapter, verse 20. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever and ever. For wisdom and power are his. What a beautiful prayer by Daniel, my friends. Again, Hannah Wife of Elkanah thanked the Lord for blessing her with a son Samuel and she thanked the Lord praised the Lord by giving him back to God's service This is how Hannah gave thanks to the Lord what a beautiful offering by by Hannah to the Lord Job praised God even after losing everything he had he even lost his family members and yet he praised god he blessed the lord this might surprise you my friends job chapter 1 verse 21 naked i came from my from my mother's womb and naked i shall return the lord gave and the lord has taken away blessed be the name of the lord for me this is an astounding prayer an astounding act of thanks to the lord what a faith job had in his life paul and silas thanked and sang hymns of praise to the lord in the prison not anywhere in the prison they praised god they thanked the lord they they sang hymns of praise to the lord paul and silas knew very well that they needed to go to the lord in most difficult times and that's what they did they were in prison they prayed to the lord they thanked the lord this led the jailer and his entire family to believe in jesus wow 
what a beautiful display of faith by Paul and Silas my friends do you praise God do you praise God at all times both in difficult and joyful times my friends if you do not I beg you to trust in the Lord to praise him thank him adore him at all times the one who created us knows best to take care of us it's a challenge hope you will take up this challenge now we have an interview by dr francis cotton the designer and editor of jck creations with vive brookman who will tell us about her story and why she wants to be thankful to the lord now over to dr francis cotton well thank you father good amazing and thank you for everything you do for jcku creations all for the glory of god and now we have vivian brookman uh with us and you may recognize her voice vivian brookman is a member of jcku creations she does a lot of our wonderful voiceovers and she would like to share her journey and why she's thankful to to jesus to god So Viv tell us first of all tell everybody a little bit about yourself. Sure, I uh, sure. I have recently with my husband moved to a place called Santa Claus, Indiana from Lamont, Illinois. But while I was in Lamont, Illinois, I was very involved in my church and with friends. um very happy here though the move is great and i'm i'm looking forward to that same kind of commitment out here oh okay um were you always very active with the church like as a young adult as a young adolescent uh when my children were young i was involved but not to the extent that i became involved in my later years actually after i retired i really got involved um it was a, a a pull a tug at my heart at that time because <clears throat> excuse me um i just felt a need to get back and get involved so yes and no and as a as a young person i could have been more involved but and later on in my years yes i did mm-hmm. get involved happily um how would you say like when did you first if you recollect back uh discovered your faith were you was your family religious uh h- how did you get your faith to begin with well you know uh when i was young my parents were actually involved they used to be uh, involved in something called the christian family movement or cfm and they used to have priests visiting us and have them over for dinner and um it was very it gave me a lot of um background for my faith because i could see them interested and but then you know as a, as you get older you start to wane a little bit this way and that way and i did but then again when i had children i we had them go to a, we had them go to a catholic church and catholic school and i got involved to a point uh-huh. but uh yeah um just an aside uh, did did you have a lot of like icons around the house or, and if so did did it make a difference for for you um th- did your parents do that yes as a matter of fact that's a great question uh frank because you know they had pictures of the pope we had crucifixes we had the blessed mother and back then uh, in our catholic school once a year and i believe it might have been in october it was either may or october um uh, i think around may crowning they gave the schools the blessed mother to literally take home she was encased and you take it home and you play, pray the rosary at home with your family i don't know of a school that does that now but i do remember well, us doing that you know there's always this talk about certain uh parts of the Christ, Christian faiths that they worship certain things and it, as you know as Catholics we don't worship sacramentals they're they're there just to remind us to get us thinking in those terms so you felt along along the lines of your faith journey that that actually helped 
Oh, definitely. Um, Mary is one of the greatest intercessors. She's full of the Holy Spirit. And a lot of people don't talk to Mary and think of her as having being filled with the Holy Spirit. But she is filled with the Holy Spirit and people need to pray to the Holy Spirit more because yeah. he's our helper. Yeah. Well, you know, they, they say when you pray, in effect, it's because the Holy Spirit is inspiring to, to pray. So it's that mystery, that eternal loop, you know, Absolutely. it's unexplainable, but it's it's kind of interesting. So as a as an older adult now, okay, so we won't ask a woman her age, but as an older adult, so you're very active in the church. You feel like uh, um, a service to the church has helped your faith? Oh, and in what way? De- most definitely. Um, I I have been on the bereavement committee. Oh, I wow, have that's been. nice. I'm a Eucharistic minister. I taught catechism, which, I, by the way, I should say, if anybody out there has ever had the desire to be a catechist, please try it because it's a wonderful, wonderful experience. I've taught second and third grade and been an aide in fifth grade. So a, a lot of experience and very fulfilling. Well, and that's okay. propelled my faith. Okay. So service, service. So, because there's going to be a lot of people watching this thing. Well, you know, how do I get on board, so to speak? And so I, I think you have to hold your nose and jump in and, and, and do some service for for your church. Absolutely. And yeah. it's very rewarding. Once you get started, I'm telling you, it's catchy. Because I went from one thing to another thing, and I've never looked back. And... um as a matter of fact, here in Santa Claus, I'm going on Monday to help <laughs> their church. <laughs> so, it's funny to say Santa Claus, you know, yeah. it's funny, you know, but it's nice. It's really, really nice. So um, um, you would say your faith is strong now because because of these things. Um, what are you most thankful uh, about fr- from Jesus, from God? What, what do you think? And that's a tough question, you know, but... What, what has impacted you the most? I am every day thankful. I'm thankful uh, because of my health. Every morning I get up, I thank God for where I'm at, the beauty that surrounds me, the health of my husband and myself, um, my family. So re- being in the church and praying often and doing these things reminds you of how ever present the Lord is around in everything we do and everything we have. You, you wonder why we, we never noticed that before, you know, how, yeah. how, how, how that, ha- that's one of those mysteries, right? I think so, it's just that people okay. think there are, they're too busy with a lot of other things going on in their life and you need to step back. And you need to take a look around you and and appreciate what you have right before you. And I do it every day. Trust me. Well, okay. Well, I I, I know your your our interaction today it will will help a lot of people because you know there there's no you know rules of the road so to speak. It's always everything's a snowflake. Everybody's different. Everybody's experiences are different. Mm-hmm. And it, it's good to hear you know just are us average people talk, talking about it. So Viv, I, I want to thank you again for everything you do for JCKU Creations. I, I know you, we have some uh, projects in the works and you're already voiceovering uh, some prayers. And um, But thanks for spending time with the listeners. We're very thankful for the listeners. And um, uh, we'll see you up the road, huh? We'll see you in Santa Claus. Yeah. Definitely. And thank you for letting me be a part of this uh, great endeavor. And I hope people will look into their hearts and give more to the church as far as service. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Well, you have a good day. Take care, Viv. Bye. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Blessed are you, Lord Jesus. 
Blessed are you forever. Our Father in heaven, we give you thanks. We do this in our thoughts, in our words, and what is in our hearts. We fall down in worship and adoration before you, the King of glory. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen.